Hi guys, it's me. So I am back in the vlogging mode. And um, I just got out of work and I'm currently in McDonald's. Yes. Very bad, I know. But hey. So basically, um, I decided to vlog this weekend and next weekend because for once there's actually something going on. So I said, hey, we can vlog. And today I'm going off to the um, esthetician. I'm gonna get my eyebrows done. And I didn't tell you guys, but I am back in the whole gel nail situation. I really like getting my nails done. And I like the fact that I found I found a salon that, you know, the girls are kind and they, they do their job well. And if you know, I've had a couple of years ago, I had a bad experience and that put me off the whole nail, gel nail thing. And now I'm back and I'm, I'm glad. Anyway, after that, I need to pop into Sephora as well because I need to get some things like need to get. And um, I also made a huge Sephora order online. But I kept some things that I needed to get in the store immediately. So, yes. That's that. And, uh, yeah, I will check in with you guys later. And this is my outfit. Loving the Moschino teddy bear sweater. One of my favorites. Like the Isabel Marant gray sweater. This one too. And this is the bag of the day. Gucci. Let's go, let's go to my favorite place in the world. Y'all. Yes. Let's actually take a basket. Okay, so I hope you can see. This is something that always intrigued me. These, this um, brush which apparently is a brush that's great for masks. I don't know, is it a waste of money? It gets great reviews on the website, on the Sephora website. Yeah, let's give it a try. Bam. What else is good? Remember when I did what's in my, my mini pochette? I needed a mini size mascara? Well, there's a bunch over here of mini size mascara. It's just for touch-ups, right? So I'll get this mini, the mini size mascara from Sephora. And this, the full size of this gets great reviews, I remember noticing that. So we can give this one a try. Well, enough with the minis. Let's go to get the good stuff. Oh, this, yes. This is one of the things I wanted to get. Setting powder from Sephora. I. I'm not happy with the setting powders that I've been using so far. I think I need a change. So I want to get this on. I want to get this. I want to give this a try because the reviews are pretty good on this one. Right. So let's let's not lose our focus. I need to get something for my eyebrows, and I want to try the pencil from Benefit. Salve because it gets great reviews. How many times can I say great reviews in this vlog? And it's up there. Posso chiedere? Sì. Devo prendere la matita di della Benefit Benefit per le sopracciglia. Ah, ok, sì. Allora, questa è retraibile, vero? Sì, sì. Ok, per me quella è fondamentale perché un spazzolino all'interno per pettinarle, vero? Perfetto. Io per me è la prima volta, non so il mio colore. Allora, secondo me è un 4, ho occhio un 4 per okay. lei, perché il ho un 4 o un 5. Ah no, no il 5 è troppo. Il 5 sono. Allora, già ce le ha scure. Poi sì. se. Sì, no, troppo artificiale no. Va bene. Continua il giron solare. Prego. Grazie. That's done. Now I want to get the primer from Sephora which is pure silicone and the concealer got a concealer which apparently are very similar to the um, the NARS creamy concealers and then the primer up there hi guys I'm back so I wanted to share with you guys some of the things that I bought at Sephora for the past few days. I placed an order online, as I told you guys, and yesterday I went to Sephora, and I hope you liked the footage. 
Uh, oddly enough, Sephora wasn't that full of people yesterday when I went, so I really managed to film very comfortably. Like, I felt like I was at home, totally at ease. So that was fun. Why did I decide to buy, to go a little overboard on Sephora? Well, I think I needed it, which may seem strange. I mean, do we really need it? Yes, I needed new makeup, mainly because I have recently been in a makeup rut completely for the past few months. Um, I wasn't having it makeup wise. I was always using the same things. And the bad thing that happened was, I finished like, for me the most important item makeup wise is foundation. I've said this a million and one times. Foundation for me is the first thing and if my foundation looks good, I feel great. Well, uh, for the past few months, I basically finished many of my favorite foundations. And the mistake that I made was I didn't repurchase them immediately. I thought, you know what, I have so much in my makeup collection. Let me just continue using up everything I have. So basically, this is what happened. Like, I have now uh, just few foundations that I don't really like. They don't even look that great on me. And that's why, you know, when, you, when you're not using items that um, excite you, or at least this is how it works with me. When I'm not happy with the items I have, I don't like makeup. So I thought, well, it's about time to, you know, repurchase the foundations that I like so that I can get back into makeup and be happy about it. And the first thing I want to show you, this is actually something that has been in my Sephora basket for months, for the longest time. And I never, I just never got into buying it, maybe because I thought, oh, well, another time. And then I wanted to buy it during Christmas, but then during Christmas it was out of stock. And I said, you know what, that now that it was back in stock, I said, let me just get it now, otherwise I will never get it. This is, this is it. It is the infamous Garland Lure Primer. Everybody has been talking about this. Everybody has been raving about it, so I thought, you know what, let me just, just buy it. Well, this is haul vlogging style, okay, so it's very cash. Right, so, this is what the bottle looks like. It's a complete glass bottle. Very, very luxurious, I have to say. Yes, it costs an arm and a leg, but it's really, really nice. And yes, I can't wait to try it. And then, when I place my Sephora order, I decided to buy two of my most favorite foundations. I've been out of them for way too long and I thought, you know what? I need to get them back in my life. So the first foundation I'm talking about, this is something that I really cannot not have in my makeup collection. And never again am I gonna wait so long to repurchase it. It is the Born This Way Foundation by Too Faced. It's one of my all time favorites. I just, I love everything about this foundation. And this is what the foundation looks like. This too comes in a glass bottle and it has a pump. Yay for foundations that comes with a pump. And yes, so happy to have this back. Then another foundation, another repurchase of one of my foundation loves is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. This is also an oldie but a goodie. It always, always works. And just like the Too Faced, it's very similar in finish because they're very luminous and very brightening and I'm all for that. And they cover, these two foundations that I just mentioned, cover and without looking heavy, that's the thing. The only thing that I don't like about the Nars Sheer Glow is that it doesn't come, does not come with a pump, but I do have a pump. Every time I finish my Nars Sheer Glow, I always keep the pump because it just, it's just so much easier. So I need to find the pump and put it back in. Anyway, even if you don't have it, it only costs something like two euros, so it's very inexpensive. And then, the another foundation that I got in my Sephora order is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. Now this for me is actually the first time buying it. I have tried this foundation several times uh, from samples. And I remember the first time I tried it, I didn't like it. Then the second time I received a sample, I tried it again, maybe because it was a different color, and I sort of liked it. So I thought, you know what? It's makeup forever. I think I de it deserves to be properly tried. So I decided to buy it, and I hope I got the right shade. Anyway, this is what the bottle looks like. This, is, this bottle is plastic, so definitely better. It's a better option for travel purposes. Anyway, the color I got is W, no, Y305. So yes, 
just looking at it, just like the previous one, it should be okay, but I will let you know. Um, I had to change all the colors of my foundation because I'm going lighter and lighter. And then the last item I got in my Sephora order is this mascara. It's the new YSL The Shock Mascara. This is the mascara. I love the packaging so, so much. I got it in black. I love how it's black with the pink writing. And yes, it's all about the packaging. What can I say? And you see, mascara too. I've been going on with the same drugstore mascaras for the past few months. And yes, they are good and everything. But honestly, there's nothing like a YSL mascara for me. That's that. And then, uh, I, I, uh, in the basket, in the basket, in the bag, I have the products that I got yesterday in the Sephora store, which you might have already seen, but let me just show you again. I got this brush. It's a Sephora brush made for applying facial masks. So, as I said, because it gets good reviews, I wanted to give it a try. And the main reason why I went to Sephora yesterday was to get something for my brows because I usually get the, um, Sephora, um, I usually get the Sephora retractable uh, eye pencil, which is great. I've been using that for over a year and I swear by it, but I wanted to, I wanted to change it out because, you know, that's what you do when you want to get out of a makeup rut. You need, for me, personally, the only way to get out of a makeup rut is to buy new makeup. Makeup that excites me, so that's what I did and I'm pretty sure I'm going to get out of it. So I decided to go for this one by Benefit. It's a retractable pencil as well because that's the only thing I'm going to use for my eyebrows. It's, if it's not retractable, I'm not going to get it because I just cannot be bothered to deal with uh, pencil sharpness. And this is what it looks like. Uh, the SA matched me with the color 4 and she was very knowledgeable. I have to say, I like it when I go to Sephora and I talk to girls that know what they're talking about. Sometimes I feel that I know more than them which is kind of sad, I think, if you're working at Sephora. This is what it looks like. You get the spoolie on one end and the pencil on the other end, and the packaging is really, really nice. And then I wanted to give this a try. This is also from Benefit. It's their Pore Fashional Matte Rescue, and it's, it's I want to say it's a primer with, in a gel formulation made for, you know, mattifying your skin and um, smoothing out your pores and stuff like that. Um, this didn't really get great reviews online. Some girls love it, some girls don't. Um, apparently you're supposed to match it with the other pore fractional by uh, Benefit, which totally defeats the purpose. I mean, if I have to add another product on top of this, what is this for? But I wanted to try it because it's gel and I thought um, maybe it will just work because it sinks in pretty quickly in your skin because it's gel and it's for oily T-zones and stuff like that. So we can all use a gel for our oily T-zones. And I'll let, you know how I, I'll let you know how I get on with this. I might not start using it immediately. I feel that this will work great in the summertime. For some reason, I feel that this will be something good in the summertime. Another primer that I really, really wanted to get back in my life is this one by Sephora. This is pure silicone in a bottle. I remember when I used to use this back in the day, my skin was completely like flat in the terms that you couldn't see my texture, you couldn't see bumps, you couldn't see anything because the silicone would fill in everything. And I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, um, but I don't care. I might not use this maybe on an everyday basis because it might be too much for my skin, but on those days in which I feel that I need a little extra, I'm going to use this and never again am I not going to have this in my collection because this is a very good product and the packaging is so cute. Then I got the Sep a Sephora mini mascara for my Louis Vuitton uh, mini pochette. Remember that I mentioned that I needed to get a mini mascara. It, when I placed my order on the Sephora website, I wanted to get my hands on the NARS um, the press powder, the clear press powder, but it wasn't on the website and I'm not sure if it's out of stock or if they discontinued it. It was just not there. So I need to do a little bit of research. Anyway, in the meantime, I thought of getting this one from Sephora. It's white and clear, just like the NARS. I'm not gonna say that this is just like the NARS, but you know what I mean. I wanted to change up a setting powder. 
I got this one from Sephora, it's their Beauty Amplifier and it's a smoothing and brightening powder and I'm all for smoothing and I'm all for brightening so we'll see how that goes and this one too gets great reviews online so in general all the products from many products from the Sephora line gets good reviews so they are they are pretty good and then the last thing that I got yesterday was this uh, concealer also from the Sephora line many have compared this concealer to uh, the one by NARS even by Urban Decay so I thought of giving it a try I got it in the color 02 cream I hope it's good I went for a lighter color because I want to use it in my under eye for brightening purposes and that's all I got from Sephora actually after that I went to in the grocery store and they were having 40% off Maybelline and I decided to get this one this is also an oldie but a goodie I had it I finished it and I never repurchased it so I decided to get it back this is the infamous um, uh, in English, it's uh, Age Rewind, I think, by Maybelline. I got it in the color 22 Light, which was actually the lightest color available. So, yes, this is also a very good con um, concealer. Definitely a must-have in everyone's makeup stash. And that's that. The bag is empty and my camera didn't cuff it off. Miracle. So, yes, that's all. And I will see you guys in a few days. Okay. I'm here in boutique and I came to sell some of my items. I'm selling my Stella McCartney Brit shoes. Yes, yes, they have to go. I haven't been wearing them at all. And then some old like the Gucci Poche and a very old um, Prada bag, one of the first bags I bought. They just have to go. Guardiamo in giro, grazie. I love Mac stores and I love it when they are empty. Ciao. Ciao. Si, vedi anche questi che io voglio. Si. Quelli gu sono sono potenti, questo coprono tutto. Il Pro Long Wear copre tutto. Sì, sì, proprio perfetto. Eh, eh culo, molto più pulito. Eh. Ottimo. And basically this is where I come from, guys. I come from, from a town by the sea. I see this every day. Oh. 
Hi guys, it's me. So it's the next day and I wanted to show you guys my piercing properly. I hope you can see it. I've been planning to get my ear, ears pierced for quite some time. I want to say about a month and I'll put the picture that inspired me to do it. It is so freaking cool and boy, it was so freaking painful. Like really, really painful. Um, I had asked some of the, some people if it hurt or not and they would say, oh no, all you feel is just the prick. Hell no, you do not feel just the prick because it really lasts several seconds. Uh, I hope you managed to see from the footage. But anyway, I'm really, really glad I got it done because it's nice, it looks nice. And um, I had to put the earring that is, that's the initial earring you have to wear. And the guy said that once it the hole closes, I can go and change it. And I will definitely get it changed and put something much cuter. But anyway, it the, my ear is not swollen, it is not red, it just looks, it's nice and clean and it's okay. I mean, I I was afraid that, you know, because my skin is kind of sensitive that I would, ha and I would have some problems, but I don't and I'm glad. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Um, today we're going to the movies, I'm going to see Jackie, but the weather is kind of lousy, so we're not going to do anything much, just go to lunch and then go to see the movie. So I thought of ending the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you like my makeup. I love my makeup. I am so glad about all the makeup I bought. All the foundations uh, color match perfectly on my skin, so I definitely made some right choices and I'm wearing the, um, Too Faced chocolate bar palette on my eyes today. And uh, yeah, looks good. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that I repurchased all the things I love because I'm back into makeup and I'm loving it. And for lips, I'm wearing the YSL number two, which is a classic. It's a classic nude with Max Soar lip pencil. Fabulous combination. Anyway, that's that. And um, yeah, I hope this vlog was somewhat entertaining and definitely, definitely check, um, definitely, definitely look forward to a haul because I have been buying some things. <laughs> like, I just bought, I think, the most important item on my 2017 wish list. And there's a whole ramble, and there's a whole story behind it. And um, I definitely want to share this story with you. So I think a luxury haul will be the next one you will get. And that's that. So yes, don't forget to comment. Thumbs up this video. I always appreciate everything you do for my channel. Subscribe if you're not. And until next time, bye-bye.